Okay, so this is my uh, lacquer on my Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, and I've got a bit of an issue with the uh, resolution. Um, so if I press the information on the TV, you'll see that it, it's showing as a 4K 24 hertz. Now, if I quit out of this game, pressing the right button, uh, and start another game, so that was a Jaguar game. Uh, if I then start a Dreamcast game, you'll see that it also comes up with the same resolution. And if I start a Nintendo 64 game, you see it flicked to 1080, but then went back to 4K. Uh, now this is really affecting the Pi's ability to emulate because it's slowing it down massively because it's trying to, trying to do it in 4K. So I've been uh, looking through the comments that I've had on some of my videos and some of the options were to, well, let's just quit out of that, uh, go to video, uh, and I've turned on advanced options. And I can't find anything that actually changes the resolution of the screen. So I've messed about with these. Uh, no, not that one. I've messed about with, so that was standard, 720 by 1280, but that never appears. Uh, where was the one I was messing about with? Must be this one. So this was on nine times on both of these. Uh, and so I've lowered it to 1920 by 1440, but it seems to have made no difference at all. Uh, and I couldn't really find anything else. And you see it says 60 hertz, uh, and yet it always comes up as 24 hertz. It seems to just pick whatever the monitor tells it to uh, is its highest resolution. Because if I restart, You'll see what happens. I've told, there you go, it comes up as 1080, but then as soon as it gets to the interface, it's 4K. Because I put in config.txt, uh, the two lines, HDMI underscore group equals one, HDMI underscore mode equals five. I also did the same thing, but changed it to 480 as well. And it would boot up that first bit, so you would see the lacquer logo come up in that lower resolution, but then it just, as soon as you launch something, it goes into 4K. So I found a weird fix for this, and it's one of these. Uh, basically, it's an HDMI in to composite out. I was trying to think of what I had that would lower the output from my Pi, because I my only TV is a 4K TV. Uh, I could use my son's monitor upstairs, which is a 1080, but he was using it last night. So I, I dug around, and I remember buying this uh, because we used to stay on holiday at different places where they had old TVs, and I wanted to be able to plug in something like a, a Fire Stick or an Apple TV box into an old TV, uh, and this was a way of doing it. So let me show you what happens when I plug this in. Okay, before I do that, uh, let's just show you what, uh, this is through the HDMI as normal. Uh, I'll just show you what Dave Mirror looks like uh, and how it plays. And if I press info, uh, you can see it com it's coming up as 4K. So the, the Pi is outputting 4K, which is massively slowing down uh, the OS and this has come from uh, one of the comments on on uh, the video I did yesterday because uh, I'd looked at this before I figured it must be a problem uh, and I looked at this before um, and uh, and just couldn't find a way of changing the video resolution okay so you can see that's it's uh, it looks all right but it's uh, it's definitely slow to play so let's switch cables Switch the TV to AV component, although it's composite. I, I wish I had a component one because then uh, it would more likely be uh, 1080 and better quality. Composite will work for this test because all I want to show really is uh, is how much better the Pi performs. And, I, and I've been watching other people's uh, different tests that they had with Dreamcast emulators and, and I just couldn't get Dreamcast to run well on my Pi, but then I've only ever used it on a 4K TV and it seems to always pick the top resolution uh, that the monitor will allow. Uh, here we go. So you can see it looks <laughs> it looks very different. Uh, it looks a little bit like a CRT. Uh, it, it, uh, it has that sort of property, that really sort of bright, uh, vibrant picture. Um, so if I go to Dave Mirror and hit run, and I just want to check uh, because I think frame skip, yeah, frame skipping is off now. Whereas before, uh, in my previous video, I had frame skip on one because otherwise the game was unplayable. 
and it acts, I think it looks all right. I quite, I quite like it like this. It's, it's, it's got a really nice color. Actually, if I tap the screen, that might, that might give it to you better. Uh, it was looking a bit odd on there. And now you can see <laughs> it's actually gone the other way now. Uh, it is super, super fast. But it's showing that the Pi is not struggling in any way uh, emulating Dreamcast. Uh, it was just trying to emulate it and then upscale it to 4K, which is just more than you need. See, I've still got the skills even at, at, at max speed. Now, I haven't shown you what resolution this is running at, uh, and that's because it actually doesn't say on my TV. Um, but uh, generally, composite was often 480 or 576. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be something like that. So I tried the same sort of trick with an Ava Media Capture device, uh, and that didn't work. Uh, and the Halpage device as well, neither of them seem to recognize the signal that's coming out of Lacquer RetroArch, so I need to somehow change that to be able to capture it properly. I also used an HDMI splitter, which sometimes helps. Uh, it's got uh, HDCP uh, stripping in it as well. But uh, really, the, the one I had success with was the mini HDMI to AV adapter. Okay, another thing to add, um, I've just downloaded the unofficial RetroPie Buster. Uh, Munker Pi 1.1 by Munker Blatt, Munker Blatt. I haven't tried it yet, but what I thought I'd do, I've put the SD card in my Mac and I've just gone into the config.txt file. You can see here they've already put in lines for overclocking. So what was I doing? Overclock equals 6. Uh, arm frequency equals, let's try that, 2147. Uh, and then uh, GPU will do that as 750 and see what happens, see if it recognises it because it wasn't recognised by RetroArch, I could only get to 2750 uh, for the GPU so let's give it a try and see if it actually actually works I don't know what that second over voltage is for so I'll leave that so over voltage is 6, arm frequency 2147, GPU frequency 750, and let's see if that boots up. Okay, so that didn't work, uh, so I'm going to go back in and I'm going to use settings that I'm sure will work. So I've only ever been able to get it to go to 2000 uh, and the GPU frequency of 750. Uh, so let's save that. Okay, so uh, this is the unofficial RetroPie build, and as you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can see it comes up with the different controllers and the different artwork and things like that. Uh, and it also tells you what you've got on each platform. So if I go into PPS, uh, PSP, oh, I've got a PSP on here. I've got Pursuit Force on here. Uh, Super Nintendo, I've got a few titles on there. Uh, Dreamcast, I've got a load of titles because I've been trying to do videos on that. Uh, Nintendo 64, yeah this is a really nice interface, uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo DS is a weird one because obviously the two screen thing uh, and it's obviously touch screen as well in lots of cases and obviously this isn't touch screen, so what should we try, I think I'll just try one game uh, and it's got to be, it's got to be Dave Mirror isn't it? So this is overclocked to 2000 uh, and the graphics is 750. Uh, I won't press any buttons to configure and just see if anything happens straight away. Okay, so what I thought I'd do uh, is just try and check if, let's see, restart, quit emulation station. Because there's an OS behind this. Uh, Dave Mirror didn't work by the way. Um, but there is a, a, an OS behind this and you can boot it Okay, so I've just uh, changed my screen resolution to 1080 because my screen capture device didn't like it when it was on 4K. Uh, but just to show you what comes with this unofficial build, uh, this is uh, Linux and it says it's based on Raspbian and Debian 10 Buster Lite. Um, and uh, there's various different things in here. Uh, you can see as I flick through, all sorts of things have been installed. Uh, Super Tux Cart, and then we've got 
don't think any other emulators because they're all in RetroPie really aren't they programming system tools uh, so to go back to uh, RetroPie if you don't want to do any of this go to LX terminal and I'm pretty sure you type in emulation station I could be wrong yeah and now it's loading up here we go and so I'll do a bit I'll, I plan to do a bit more on this um, I just want to I didn't need to play around with this a bit more uh, before I do a proper video on it but let's try a PlayStation Portable game in Pursuit Force and see what happens. Oh, there you go. So it's running in a window in the operating system. So you'd need to shut it down and restart it if you don't want it running in the background. Turn it down a bit. Uh, so this should be running at 2000 megahertz. Yeah, that feels alright. Don't have trigger. Oh, accelerate is is uh, a. Okay, so that seems reasonable. Okay, so I've just restarted. Um, I shut down properly and then restarted. Uh, and so if I hit Windows and D, nothing happens. Okay, so uh, basically you can run it in two ways and I'm guessing the performance is obviously gonna be better if it's just in its own container uh, rather than running from within uh, Linux. Uh, but if I just show you how to shut that down again, so hit Start, uh, go to Quit, Go to sh quit emulation station, was it? Yeah, quit emulation station. And then if you want to start uh, Linux, you just put in start x return. And hopefully my screen capture device, oh, it just quit out. Um, but if you want to return back uh, and by the way, I had to set mine at 1080 because uh, 4K wouldn't work with my screen capture device and also the desktop was too small. Um, so if I go into LX Terminal and then type in emulation station, not with an S, and that boots into it. Screen capture still recording, so if I press Windows and D, I go back to the desktop and then you can switch between open apps. It might be interesting to see how well the performance differs between the two. Anyway, I'm going to cover this more in another video. I need to really play around with it, see what ROMs work nicely with it, configure it and, and do some more stuff to it. But I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.